Hey y'all, Tim with Molly Card and Gaming here. We've got our workspace all cleaned up and we're ready to do four more boxes of our Heritage Baseball. And we got tons of space now so we can spread out, stretch our elbows a little bit. Oh my goodness, feels good. Ah, big stretch. Last video was insane. I don't know if you caught it or not, but we opened four boxes it was box 21 through 24 of our case that we bought and we got a red ink auto we got an image variation of a key rookie we got two numbered parallels we got a shohei blue and i would say in total with everything else we had going on oh and we had a corbin carroll blue i'm guessing we were up probably 50 bucks last video maybe more because that image variation was perfectly centered and i don't even know what that oscar gonzalez red ink auto is going to go for because it doesn't have any recent sales his autos out of like finest and bowman and stuff like that aren't going for much that a red ink auto carries a premium so who knows it's really hard to tell all i'm saying i'm very excited about this rip so we're going to jump right in and start off with box number one we are going to enjoy our extra space here because we earned it. We got a bunch of our inserts from Series 2 finally sorted. So we earned some extra space. So we're just going to line these up so we got extra room. And we're going to spread out. All right. Man, it feels good. Okay, well, welcome back everybody who's been here before. And if you're new here, welcome. We are ripping a full case. Oh my goodness, there's that Scherzer again. That's awesome. Uh, we are ripping a full case of 2023 Heritage Mega Boxes. We got them on sale at DA Card World for $17 a box plus shipping, which was zero, and plus tax, which was, I don't know, more than zero. But we ended up with $17 a box, and with all these short prints, like that one right there, with all these really cool cards and with red ink autos, image variations, and we've got numbered cards, we've got minis, we've got a blue ink auto that we had before. It's really looking like there's no way we can lose on this. I mean, we are doing great. The short prints and blue sparkles go for like, I wanna say $1.50 to $2 each for the commons. And then for the rare guys, we're talking, you know, closer to three to five. Shohei, Corbin Carroll, those are $15 for those blue sparkles. Then and now right here. That's great. The Gunner Rookie, three bucks raw out of this set. So, I mean, if we're looking at it, it's, it's really hard to be negative on this. So, I am super excited at the prospect of opening something so prolifically good. This is incredible. There's a Riley Green. It's our first notable rookie. So, he can go here. All right. Slot six is a Jordan Diaz, not a short print. And then Miami, we have a Max Meyer, blue sparkle. There we go. Check for short prints just one last time. All right. Okay. The first blue sparkle, not a big one. That's okay. All right. Cabrera, there's an Emilio Pagan, 415. That's a short print. And the short prints are coming out of here at, I think, around a five per box clip. So at the end of each video, we should have 20. And if we're assuming a dollar to a dollar fifty each for sale, we'll say, Brian Crawford is nice. We'll say a dollar fifty each. We're talking 30 bucks out of the 80 is immediately paid back in short prints. The blue sparkles, same thing. There's usually three per box, and at a minimum, they go for $2 each, and a maximum, 15 each. So we'll just say $6 off the box right there. So 36 out of 70 is immediately covered by the guaranteed stuff in the box. So that is 50% covered right out of the box in just the bare minimum, basic, um, short prints and blue sparkles that are included in every box. And then on top of that, we're getting numbered stuff. We're getting autographs. 
short um short printed like a mini we got out of this you can get negatives black and whites i guess you'd call them here plus all these other inserts that are really great so there's flashbacks put it up there flashbacks i guess so yeah it is incredible and it, it is a fun rip to boot the packs are really easy to pull apart uh, they're a lot of fun to open because you never know what you're going to get but you can kind of predict the order of things based on what all you get so there's a flashbacks so you can tell slot seven of the nine card packs is our hit slot there's an ivan herrera uh, but if you get something cool in slot six you know that you've got something in slot seven that's cool too so sometimes you can get an auto and a stamp or a number card and a stamp or you can get a stamp and the blue sparkle every pack's different and they've all got really good opportunity for great stuff all right but by now you all know it's awesome you don't need me to tell you it's awesome you've seen it you know but i will say if you have the availability or the opportunity look into one of these cases because this is incredible all right there's alexis diaz not a short print so we're still missing a couple things here we're missing one more blue sparkle we're missing probably two short prints also and um stamps have coming out of these at either one or two per box so we may get another stamp too Jared Walsh, there's a Ruggie Odor, Gorman, nice. So that was just a base pack too. They're allowed to be. Not every pack has to be as good as the, the ones that have just delivered like crazy. Like there's a, we actually got really lucky earlier and had three hits in the same pack. That was really cool. Um, so it's definitely possible. Donnie Sands, 465, that is a short print. So that's one of the two we were missing. Looking for one more short print, one more blue sparkle, probably. Okay. All right. This is probably the blue sparkle. Yep. All right. We'll check the volley. Oh, we got a stamp, too. Look at that. That's cool. Oh, look at Dick Allen up there. That's awesome. Eloy, Luis, and Ion Mancata. And a short print. So stamp, short print blue sparkle Vaughn Grissom so that was another three hit pack there because that AL postseason card or NL postseason card is a short print it's in the 490s I think oh, 436 but it is over 400 so it is a short print so after all that this could be a base pack it could be an auto who knows probably nothing but last time I said something was nothing I pulled a red ink auto out of it New Age Performers. Okay, George Brett. Or, I'm sorry, George Kirby. We'll take that. Not George Brett. That would have been then and now. Yeah, all right. I know I'm talking really fast. I'm sorry, but I'm super excited about this rip. Oh, my goodness. I'm exhilarated after the last video. Oof. I'm yawning not because I'm tired, but because I need to breathe better. I can tell my heart's racing. I am doing awesome. A very exciting product. All right, we got Trace Thompson. There's a Verdugo short print, 426. And the Bobby, it's always in slot eight if you get one. So, good to know that you might find them after your hits. Pack two. Adley, New Age. That's a really good one. Man, we got some really good New Age performers here. I don't know if I'm going to make a set of the inserts or if I'm going to sell the good inserts and keep the ones I want. I really don't know what I'm going to do with those. I guess it depends. I might make sets and then do singles of the other ones, like the extras. All right, we got a blue sparkle here. There's a gunner right off the front. That's a great card. Did I pull too much? No, it's just thick. Outman, Quan. There's a stamp, another twin stamp. All right. And New York rookie, Oswaldo Cabrera. Nice. Good stuff. All right. 
rip in here. I get rid of our left stack first. Pena, Paulo Lopez, number 411, that is our short print. Okay. Three packs left before we move on to right stack. All right, Noah Morajon, Shohei. There's a flashbacks. Schmidt opening day walk off. That's pretty cool. There we go. Shohei is number twenty in this set. Just the base card. This feels heavy. It doesn't have anything extra in it. It's just packed. So, no Cruz, Profar. There's a Tristan Casas, New Age Performer. And that is all. So it felt heavy, but it was just normal. That was weird. Not sure why it felt heavier than the other ones. Maybe the New Age Performer's cards are just the slightest bit bigger. I don't know. Marcus Wilson, this card cracks me up, man. Alright, Jordan Diaz, base card. Uh, Schwarby's the base card too, even though he's like super zoomed in. Alright. On to right stack. Nice Acuna. Estrada, 146, not a short print. This one feels thick, but again, probably nothing. Yeah, it's nothing. I think the packs are just either tighter or looser is what it's doing. It. Segura, 452, that's a short print. Even if I pull a short print out of the pack, I always check, because last video, I actually pulled a hit out of one, turned them over, looked, and there was a short print hiding behind the hit. So there's a blue sparkle. Harris, we'll put that to the side. That's awesome. There's a Dale Hall, newish performer. Kirk Mitchell, and for Chicago, pitcher Caleb Killian, rookie. Not what we're looking for, but we will add it to our stack. I don't think David Adams wants it back. That's Classe right on the front. All right, Alvarez Springer, not a short print. Looks like it could be, but it's not. Go. Let's move right along here. Gallon, there's a Brandon Drury. I think that's a short print. It is, number 416. Vaughn and Davis. Yep. All right, we got a blue sparkle. Nice. And there's Bryce Montez de Oca. That is a short print, number 403. And we got St. Louis Rookie, that is Alec Burleson. That's actually pretty good because he's uh, turned out to be a pretty good player. He spent a lot of time with the team this year. Might have been up the whole time. I can't even remember. But I, I remember watching a couple of cards games. And he was uh, he was with them every time, so that's pretty cool. Solaire, Johnson. We've got a then and now here. Soda and Daryl Evans. Flores, Hunter Dozier. There we go. Last pack of box two. Here we go. Feels pretty thin. Nothing numbered so far. No autos. Nothing like that. Remember Valdez. Seems like we're ending it with a base pack. So, nothing out of the ordinary really in this first, you know, this first set of packs. All the hits must have been in our last video, right? Because that thing was incredible. Let's see. That's three. All right. 
This is technically, I think this rip is boxes 25 through 28 of our set of our, our 40 box um, case. So yeah, just so you can kind of keep up with our progress. We're almost three quarters of the way through and it has been awesome so far. And we got pack flips in this one. There we go. Lidai Suzuki. There's a stamp. Nice. That is the Braze stamp. Chaz McCormick. Short printed, number 482. You can tell because that stamp was in slot 6. So that means there's a short print occupying slot 7. Alright. So this one definitely has a blue sparkle in it. Maybe some other stuff. We'll see. So there's a blue sparkle on the back. Let me flip these. Ortiz, Rosarena, Miggy. So something's weird going on here. New Park Glacius, New Age Performer, Bobby. That's a good card. McMahon, Tavares, and for Toronto, the catcher, Alejandro Kirk. No, Gabriel Moreno, rookie. No, nice. Oh my goodness. So I'll have to ask you guys, what do you think of our backdrop here? The uh, the boxes in the back. Do you like that? I think it's pretty cool. So we only had to flip one here. J-Rod. Oh, that's because we have a dirty Ian Happ relic. Look at that thing. He soiled his garment in that. Buxton Lariano. Yeah, he was definitely uh, sliding into somewhere. I think that's a pants relic after a game. Let's see. Is that game used? I think these are game used. It's a cool relic. Look how filthy that is. The dirtier, the better, unless it's like a laundry tag, at which point you're just like, ah, oh, gross. But yeah, this is the Clubhouse Collection relic. Not from a specific game or event, but it is a game used mem. That's pretty cool. I like dirty mem cards, man. I like dirty, grimy, disgusting, sloppy. Relics. I want to know they were used well. All right, so we got three of the flip. Call Freeman, Nemo, Cooper, Plunko. Here we got a short print that actually has got uh, Chucky Robinson on there. Cool catcher. I've got an odd of him somewhere. That's number 500, so that's the highest short print there is. Right, this feels thick. Might expect a blue sparkle here. There it is. Alright. Duran, Taylor, Hicks, Alvarez, Libertor, Nick Madrigal. The name I haven't seen in a while. 427. Yeah, that is a short print. And Toronto. That is Matt Chapman. Cool color match with the blue. So if there's is a powderier blue, like a 80s, 90s blue. Not so much a modern blue sparkle blue. But, you know, it's all right. Nola, Corbin, Lauer. We got a flashback. And a stamp. There's a Red Sox stamp. We got the Yaz and Carl Fisk on there. It's a good one. Then flashbacks. Watergate. Stanton, Strider. So we are still kind of taking wagers tongue-in-cheek wise but i'm curious to see how many full sets you think we're going to get out of a case here Springer is crushing pache not a short print yeah i'm really curious to hear how many full sets you think we're going to put together I'm hoping it's at least five, but it could be more. I think we're going to have like 4,000 base cards or something like that. So there's a gunner. Nice. Alvarez, we'll save him too. There's Freeland, 407. Hmm. Yeah, 
hopefully at least five because we're talking I think 25 to 30 bucks each for a set. So that takes off a good chunk of our cost here. New Age Performers. My eyes are starting to cross now. Man, is it worth it? This is good. All right, I think we got a blue sparkle here. Pretty thick pack. Oh yeah. Blue sparkle. And Michael Harris. We got Luis Liberato. Not a short print. And for Milwaukee, we have a pitcher, Corbin Burns. Oh yeah, Corbin Burns. You can kind of guess at this point which cards you're gonna get. That's great. It's nice that it's a little bit more of a predictable release, so you don't have to worry about not being sure what floor you're going to find, you know. So we got Brandon Woodruff, short printed number 447. Nice Aaron Judge there on the back end. Yeah. Three packs left in this box here. We've got some upside down stuff again. There we go. So we got a hit in here because we only got two that we flipped. So now and then, Dick Allen, Aaron Judge. Pretty cool. Yep. I can kind of tell because I've had to flip three a lot of times. So if I have to flip two, that means there's at least one card in there that was inserted. Winter Night, Biggio, Shohei, and New Age, Von Grissom. It's very nice. Very nice. Last pack before we switch to the last box. We've got, let's see, Machado. Quan, nice Quan Gold Cup. Estrada, not a short print. So we wrapped it up with a base pack. Womp womp. All right, last pack, last box, excuse me. Technically box number 28 of our project here. I don't know if they have hot boxes on these Megas, but it'd be really cool to find a Mega hot box. Ooh, there's a Votto. That's pretty cool. Stott and Tucker. Got no short prints. Yeah, we got a Joey Votto relic. That's pretty nifty. Never a guy you're looking for, but a guy you're always pleasantly surprised to find. Now, he did not slide. He did not steal a bag. He... As a clean jersey, look at him. Yeah, that's a clean jersey. Yeah, still pretty cool. Yeah, I'm hoping to get an auto or something numbered out of this because so far, haven't had anything really groundbreaking, no earth shattering hits, nothing super crazy. Just lots of singles, uh, lots of nice, solid contact, but no, no line drives, no. Deep fly balls, nothing like that. No home runs. Just a bunch of singles, which you can still score. You just need to line up a bunch of them all at once instead of just one big one. So here it looks like we've got ourselves a blue sparkle. And a flashback. So Al Kaline, 3,000 hits. And this is Atlanta outfield. Come on. Acuna. That's a good one. So we will sleeve the Acuna Blue Sparkle. It's a little disappointing that that's really all we've been able to sleeve so far besides the uh, two relics that we've gotten, which I guess I could be too terribly upset about the relics because one's like really heavily used and then one's Joe Nevada who just retired after like a super storied career. So I can't be too upset, but it'd be nice if this picked up a little bit. Not a short print. Let me check the back of all of these over here. Yeah, we're not. Base pack. Feels a little thick, but it's also kind of out of 
position, so I don't know if there's anything in here or not. I don't think there is. Alright, there's Paul Sewald 430. That is a short print, though. So we will take it. Alright, another thick pack. Maybe my depth perception on my fingers is just... Nope, there we go. So this one is correct. Alright, so this might be a Michael Harris. There's Daniel Bard, short print. It is, look at that bat, you can tell. Atlanta Outfield, Michael Harris, Blue Sparkle. I think it's like a $10, $10 card, just by itself. We got Acuna over there too, so we got some good Blue Sparkles. Sadly, nothing else in this besides Blue Sparkles and Relics, but you know what? That's okay. It's okay. It's balanced out across all the boxes. So when you get a case, you can have duds. You can have absolute beasts of cases or of boxes. And it all kind of evens out a little bit. It gives you a better idea of what the product's all about when you get it at a case level. So I don't know if I'm going to continue to do this in the future. But we'll say if a bunch of this sells in time and we've got the bankroll for it, I'll probably get a case of update hangers for 2024. We'll just have to see. Port McCarroll, nice Vientos. So that's the short print there. That is number 479. Any of the postseason cards are short prints. They didn't print a bunch of the, the postseason stuff. This feels like a blue sparkle. It is not though. Man. Tyone, Renfro, Rodriguez, now and then, Burroughs Judge. Some of those random players they picked to do now and then with. All right. Oh, snuck up on me this time. All right. A Murphy, there's an Adley. Got a Bubba Thompson base card. Phillies first base. Is that Bryce Harper again? No, that's Reese Hoskins. Yeah, pretty cool. Reese Hoskins. Maybe this was before Harper came back to play first. I can't remember when that was, to be honest, when he started doing that. Maybe this product happened before that. I don't know. All right, nice stamp and a short print. So the stamp is the reds again. I think it's our fourth red stamps, maybe. Good. All right. Continue to rip through here. New Age George Kirby. Three packs left. Nice. Another Orioles stamp and a flashback. Cool. Gotta love getting those Orioles stamps, man. Those are great. Big fan of them. Freeman, Blade, Hall, Liberato, not a short print. And we're going to have one more pack here. I'm assuming this has got a short print in it because I think we're short one short print. So this is probably a short print here. Let's see. Right. Nolan Jones, Scherzer, Dansby Swanson. No. Maybe not. Maybe it's just base pack again. And these base packs are tricking me. All right. So, anyways, that is our video today. Did pretty awful compared to some of the other ones. That just means all the hits are in other boxes, right? I will say if I bought these four boxes, I'd have a completely different opinion. 
from if I had bought the previous four because the previous four, absolutely incredible. These four, not so much. But anyways, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.